Corn beef today. Southern soul style. Mm. These things, this is approximately three pounds, a little less than three pounds um, of corned beef brisket, flat cut. Make sure you do not buy the, um, the tip cut. So that's the one. You can buy that in, in all kinds of supermarkets, especially because St. Patrick's Day is coming around. Then you need garlic salt, three quarters of an onion, some thyme. My favorite, I, oh, you're down there, sorry. Your favorite archika that I use for everything. And then there's a package also in this, which we will use later. You need pepper, freshly ground. You need brown sugar. Of course, everything Southern has brown sugar. And then we have mustard. We have paprika. And we have this here. This is fantastic. This is everything but the bagel. We'll be complementing this fabulously. Some garlic. And last but not least, Guinness stout. Better you don't have the extra stout. I have the extra stout. I like it bitter, but this, <laughs> I can tell you, I've done already two corned beef this week. That's why I used, there's only one third left, but that's quite enough for what we're doing today. Let's start cooking, lads. Uh, so before I start, <laughs> I do um, the corned beef with, uh, my God, Guinness, hello. <laughs> and that's why I drink a whole garden from Belgium. Now I'm in the mood to start cooking. Take off the jewelry and get dirty. You're taking our, we are taking our pack and then we open it with a scissor. Be very careful because there's liquid in there. So what we need to do is we need to open this and pour the liquid in this container. Because we're going to use this later. I took that out of the pack. So this is the juice that you will find in the packet that is with the uh, corned beef. Keep it on the side because we're going to use it. It's very important. And then we're going to take our meat and we're going to wash it. In cold water. You can, if you don't want, you don't have to wash it. I just suggest you do. Because it's easier to marinate later. And then here we have this package of spice we're going to put later on. Now, we pack this nice beef brisket dry both sides all right and then we're gonna put it back into this container into this bowl to get ready to marinate it all right start putting some ground pepper abundantly and you do that on both sides of course there we go turn it around all right the next thing is we're gonna take some paprika I'm choosing sweet paprika because I don't think that the smoked one or the spicy one is appropriate so you put quite a lot of that on this turn around again and rub that in nicely okay don't worry if it's too much because it's only going to be for the crust then put some put some garlic salt there you go Turn around, same thing here. <laughs> Wonderful. Taking a um, Dijon mustard. So I put quite a bit. Okay, now we're gonna get messy. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Don't worry, the pot's gonna get messy. You're gonna get messy. Now you still have <laughs> to get some more out of here. So now we're taking a, a deep pan and we're heating this up at medium high for now, just a little bit of grapeseed oil. You can use um, canola oil or coconut oil, but do not use olive oil for this because it will burn. So we're gonna sear both sides of the corned beef and then it's then we're gonna do the final steps and it will be ready to be put in the oven and for a measly six hours we'll cook it in there. Pan should be hot by now and in goes our whole corned beef and we just start searing it on both sides until brown. All right, so what I did, I took a bag of already mini carrots and put it in my Dutch oven where this beautiful corned beef is going to 
simmer for a long, long time. Now I'm going to put it in there on top of these carrots, just like so. I keep the, uh, the juice from the, from the beef and I shut off my burner. So now what we have to do, we have to let it cool. Please do not do any for the next procedure until it's cool. But in the meantime, we can do this. We're going to add some thyme. That is because I had some time left and I think thyme is a fantastic uh, spice and complements the, the taste flavor of this corned beef. So then we take that onion that you saw before. So easy. Cut it here. Cut it here. Put each one into a corner. The same for here. And if they, it's falling apart, no problem, just put this onion in it. Garlic, you know, like it is. I have it already peeled, because I'm lazy. Here, put that around it, don't worry. As is, right in there, okay. So, now what we have to wait is to the final touches. It is time for the brown sugar. This is juice I have from the previous corned beef, like literally yesterday. I did put that through a sieve, uh, took all the residue out, and now I will actually use it uh, for this one. You start, we put some of this liquid that we said on top of your meat. Keep some, okay, and then you're gonna put half of the package of the corned beef spicing that we had, then I put very little of my ajika because, frankly, it is a bit spicy. And then we're going to put some of the all but the bacon. Look how nice this is. It's salty, so be reserve your right to use not too much. And now we're going to spread. I have a whole bowl of brown sugar because, quite frankly, I don't give a measurement because I feel that is at your pleasure, how sweet you want, but it will complement the beer, which is obviously bitter, especially the extra stout. So this brown sugar, I put the more I can, it goes, integrates into the sauce, absolutely fabulous. So, and now, now we put the rest of this, of this uh, juice from the package and rub it inside the meat. Now, we put the rest of the spices, like I showed you before, right on top, distribute it. I put something called Green Goddess, which I kind of use for everything. It's like a multiple herb spice. Uh, and then I just spread a little bit more sugar on it. That's me, don't have to. All right, and now we're gonna add a cup of water or actually at, at most, because I'm going to use some beer, so we just pour that, just put that on the side of the roast here. Then comes the Guinness, all around it, like so. I think this Guinness made it by now. And then I'm going to add the rest of our uh, liquid. Ready to go in the oven. Six hours, friends, don't cheat. 300 degrees. Actually, I put 305 because I do cheat. Because you know, if you do it at 300, it's six hours. If you do it at 305, it's five hours and 52 minutes. So that's what I prefer. Either way, that was a joke. So six hours, you have it super tender. If you want it less tender, because you're gonna cut against the grain, Put it five hours, but five hours is absolutely the minimum, and I would not put it much more than 310, because yes, the process is going to be faster, and I have a feeling that your corned beef is not going to be tender at all. All right, so we cover this with silver foil. The, uh, the cover for this Dutch oven here is very thick, so I, I'm probably going to work well, but I don't want to risk it, so just make sure that the silver is tight, very tight. It has to be tucked in there very very tight so upper and lower heat 300 oh, oh and close so my wife spent a lot of time today to clean the oven so I'm very thankful for that now it is 
3.10 here in the afternoon. I guess I'll see you at 10 p.m. in the evening. Maybe I wear my pajamas for the rest. Cheers. Hello. <laughs> Ready to get it out of the oven. It's six hours. I'm dead tired. That's how it is. That's, you have to wait for that. So let's get it out of the oven. All right, here it is. All right, let's take it out. It's so soft. I'll take it to the cutting board. Let's start cutting it. Wow. Against the grain. Super tender. All I want right now is a piece of this. Definitely. Okay. It's late at night. It was worth it. Six hours, super tender, super nice. Your corned beef, southern style, soul style, whatever you want to call it, with brown sugar, with all the spices I adapted. It's beautiful. So, subscribe, subscribe, and make comments. I want to hear your comments because I will answer to all comments you have. So please do that. We cook for you, we love you, and enjoy. Edingo Brag, have a very great St. Patrick's Day. Cheers.